this video, we'll be covering levels and element templates. The number of levels have been drastically reduced and are now simplified levels. These levels will be shared across all departments and bureaus. As you can see, we have alignment, so the survey alignment, the photo alignment, and the road alignment and bridge alignment will all go on to the alignment level, but they will have their own element template that will designate its color, line style, line weight, and if it is a point feature or a hatching feature, it will associate a cell for those. So let's go ahead and take a look at our element template library. The main library that the road design team will be using is the Iowa DOT feature definitions element templates. Start off here with the first folder. This is our annotation folder. This will mainly be used in uh, Open Roads Designer when you're using the uh, annotate elements. This will be for mainly for automatic annotation. Then we have here the linear. This is going to be the main bulk of uh, the old levels that we used to have. So in here we'll have our alignment, the geom baseline, and the different parts of the geom baseline, geom entrance, and geom baseline secondary. Quarter modeler here. This is going to be mainly used by quarter modeler. So this is where you'll see the, no the old element template 2D points here. And the new temp and we got our template, the regular template points, same thing here, for like grading and things like that. Then we have our curbs here. Curb back, curb face. We have our existing. We got fence. So as you can see, these are where you're seeing all of our older levels. So like if we come into your pavement and we select our edge of pavement, you'll now see here it goes to edge of pavement when we select it. Now it sets our color, line style, level, weight. Same thing for joining. We can do that or if we go down to our joints, we actually have all of our joints now broken down and as you can see here, they all have different symbologies based on what type of joint they are. So that is how that folder is broken down. So this is going to be mainly for your plan view elements. It's going to be the main bulk of where you get your plan view elements. Modeling, this is going to be mainly used by Corridor Modeler in the uh, tools. Weights, this is going to be used for like soils, our uh, location environment bureau. So as you can see with the points, now we're going to get the active cell associated with that. So now when I do have that active, let's go ahead and close that. I bring up the active cell. You can see here now that it comes automatically in with that cell selected. So we're out of points. Same thing here with like location environment. You got boulders. Got all their shrubs. They all come in with their symbology and hatch symbology. Profiles here. These are going to be mainly used for uh, quarter modeler and your profiles. Actual profiling is going to be done here. So this is where you're going to get like your, your profile for your dish grade right and left and median. Same thing here is your template points. So like your center line, edge of pavement top and bottom. So yeah, these ones are gonna be used for quarter modeler here. This one's gonna be used for surface generation. You got the quarter meshes, top and bottom, and your uh, model uh, components. As you can see here, you got all your asphalts, your aggregates. So that's going to be mainly used for when you're generating surfaces. 
in 3D. It's me used when you're joining trains. So you got your like existing roadway, road triangles, stuff that you've you've seen before. We've got our soils, soils, uh, terrains here, and our location environment. Volumes. This is going to be used for doing earthwork. So we've got our cut fill and our unsuitables. Roadside. This is going to be used for the roadside department, and we've got our seating. So that comes in with its hatching for its seating. We've got all theirs. We've got their erosion controls. So this has got the different like uh, rock check dams, rock checks, the those all come in with the correct line styles and weights. So see this comes with the silt fence for the silt check. We've got our shading. So this is going to be our plan view shading. So this is where you've got your existing pavement, your pavement, shoulder granular, your entrance, etc. This is where we've got our staging shading. And we've got our sidewalk shading for ADA. Here's right away. This is not. This is for our our estimates. So mainly probably for uh, pre-design. Soils. This is gonna be their uh, profile patterning. So that's mainly the uh, road design one there. Go down here into our survey. This is the subsurface one. So this is going to be used for a survey when they're creating their files. This one here is going to be used is by survey as well by another one of their tools. This one is used by survey and right away and uh, prelim survey, district survey, and a district right away so as you can see we've got like the district right away this is where you're going to see like your lines get your easements and things like that same thing with like prelim I'm sorry, like, this is where you're going to see your survey alignment so as you can see here it just goes on to the alignment level but you do have the element template of survey, uh, survey alignment Same thing with right away here. This, so you got your different right away areas and right away line existing, future, proposed. This is where you're going to be seeing that stuff. And this is for setting up the survey files. And then we've got for their terrain creation, for existing terrain creation and survey terrain creation. And then we have our last we've got the two bridge ones and this is going to be broken out just like before just like ours there's going to be broken out it's like if you come into the bearings bearings are going to be on the bridge substructure because it's below the bridge but it's going to be a material of rubber and it's going to go onto the bearing template and the seat is concrete still below but it's it's going to be a concrete material that's going to be on the seat same thing with like the grout The deck, so we've got your superstructure. You got different girders, which can be super or sub. So that is the breakdown for our elements and element templates. Last thing to note is this little guy here. This is our element template association. You can toggle this on and off. What that'll do is once you draw an element, if we make any updates to our element template libraries, you can come into the utilities and just update templates from library and it'll update any elements that you've already placed as long as you had this checked on while you were placing and drawing your elements. So that should cover uh, levels and element templates for us today.